someone sitting in a space of shame and guilt. This is a mental block for someone who is sitting in a space of self-reflection. This is someone who's going through somewhat of a power struggle. This is someone who knows they should be doing something different, but they refuse to change. This is someone who has a lot of control issues, and they're causing a storm because of it. Hmm. This is someone who is going through a power struggle when it comes to control issues, trying to manipulate and control things is causing them to hold on to a space of resentment, feeling lost because they feel they can't be forgiven. Someone feels like you can't forgive them and this is why they're overthinking everything. Someone is overthinking everything and they're trying to distance themselves from the shame and the guilt that they know they should feel. I feel this is someone who's very insecure, sitting in a space where there's snake-like ways, deception. This is someone who loves being the victim, as it seems this energy has tunnel vision when it comes to their deceptions. They're on the defense. This is someone who's on the defense when it comes to resisting change, and they feel entitled to do so. They're procrastinating, wasting time, and needing validation. This is why they're not changing. They lack empathy and awareness. But I feel this is someone who's about to face their fears when it comes to whatever they're avoiding because they won't be able to escape their self-sabotage. Someone won't be able to escape their toxic ways of arrogance, anger, and addiction. I feel this is someone who is indecisive because of judgment. Hmm and how they approach situations are, it's not helping anything here. This is someone who lacks when it comes to a lot of things and they know it. This is where the self-doubt comes in as well as their reckless ways. This is someone who is disconnected from the fact that they are lacking discipline and effort. I feel this is someone who is close-minded to their stubborn ways this is why they have no boundaries and it's hard to tolerate their mistakes and everything they try to throw at you. This is someone who is very obsessive when it comes to low vibrational things. They're, they are very materialistic or this energy makes choices based on how things make them look. This is someone who is very confused on how things should be when it comes to affairs of the heart or, or even loyalty. Something is skewed when it comes to how they feel or how they should feel because they're always they're always on the defense and making things harder in the process. I feel this is someone who's feeling lost but refuses to admit it and this is why they're on the defense, still resisting change because they don't know who they'll become without their beliefs and sense of being that they have become so accustomed to. Mm. This energy is lingering, hmm. giving you the runaround when it comes to setting intentions, setting intentions when it comes to responsibilities, affairs of the heart. This energy believes you're playing it safe, and this is why they're planning, planning to make a move or send a message. I feel for many of you, this is someone who's planning to make a move or send some type of message, but I feel they're just going to give you some type of runaround when it comes to to what their intentions are. But I feel this is someone who is wanting to approach or wave a white flag because they're starting to feel the consequences. This is someone who is starting to feel the consequences, but they don't want to admit that they have lost when it comes to the war or conflict that they have started. I feel this is someone who is going through a lot of stability issues, financial issues, burning through money or living beyond their means. I feel this is someone who is very frustrated, frustrated by the fact that things are never going to be the same. And this is why they have a couple of tricks up their sleeve. I feel this is someone who is feeling the consequences and they feel like they're going to have to be strategic just to get some type of help or get some type of empathy for what they have put themselves through. And for many of you, the fact that you are not giving them any empathy at all is the reason they're angry in the first place. 
I feel like this energy being off and on, hard to rely on, push many of you to a space where you're just keeping it moving. This is someone who's feeling the consequences, but still not making any changes as a result. As I sense in many ways, they made a lot of these choices, hoping that it would get some type of reaction out of you, humble you, cause you to follow their lead. But I feel this is someone who made the mistake of believing they knew you better than you knew yourself. This is why someone is really feeling the consequences of a situation, yet refusing to admit it because they missed the old you. Hmm. Wanting to unlock something with you, I feel it has a reverse effect in some type of way. Hmm. Because I see you unlocking a new journey and washing your hands of a situation that you have done a lot to maintain and even tried to compromise. Yet now, I feel enough is enough. Your silence has now become your biggest weapon against them. I feel this is someone who wanted you to be quiet, but I feel in some type of way it was only in response to their choices and mistakes. Now this is someone who is wanting to hear that voice, wanting to hear that message. This is someone who is now wanting to hear what you have to say, but now you're quiet. I feel like you're quiet because there's a lot of secrets, trust issues. I feel the temperature has definitely been turned up on this issue where there's a lot of questions, but still no answers. For many of you, you're on a new journey and this is why they are unable to unlock something with you. And for many of you, they simply don't have a key anymore to access your energy. Let's get some more energy here. I feel like this is someone who is overthinking things, but also damaging things in the process, not trusting themselves and even their good, because if they did, it would lead them straight to you. But now that things have gone too far, they just might have to deal with their mess on their own. Because as I said before, you guys, this is someone who is constantly thinking about you, yet they somehow thought that being avoidant or trying to punish you for your reaction towards their behavior was the best way to go but i feel it only made things worse because now you don't even trust them or the respect you once had is no longer there hmm. this is someone who couldn't see the truth when they were with you this is someone who didn't have the foresight they couldn't consider your thoughts your opinion your emotions Knowing something was fragile, this is, is someone who caused a lot of conflict by moving out or making impulsive decisions, especially when it comes to third parties and money. They were in a hurry. Now this energy seems to be in a hurry to hypnotize you. Hmm. But I feel when it comes to this tension or stability, finances, something is too intense. Someone is in the dark due to their lack of will. I feel this is someone who is limiting themselves by playing coy, playing games, pretending something is not in sync, but I feel this is someone who is taking too many risks, and this is why something is moving slowly, or not at all, which is really starting to annoy and irritate them. Because they are really trying to manipulate something here instead of coming from an honest space, this energy is still being sneaky and malicious, causing something to be a vicious cycle, especially when it comes to their patterns that they won't be able to escape because someone is wasting time blaming fate, blaming the universe, playing dumb, and having no boundaries when it comes to being in the dark. Because in so many ways, they play too many games, putting on a false front. Hmm. For many of you, this energy putting on this false front, trying to blend in, causes you to lose hope, faith over time. Because nothing is growing. Something was left up in the air and many of you are losing interest or there's a decline, no change. Just a dark mood where there's a lot of confusion you feel like you've been blinded 
and this energy is still stuck, pretending they're too busy. For many of you, this is a self-righteous energy. This is why they're not reaching out, not recognizing that you are a gift. But I feel they will soon realize how powerless they are to escaping their mess, their addictions, because their stability is affected. And this instability will cause a boiling point. A, a boiling point where their anger will resurface or something dark will cause something to become way more unbearable as your tears and fears of dealing with the situation has caused you to lose all respect that you once had for them while others have just disassociated yourself with this energy as a whole you have a sense choosing to distance yourself or fall back from a situation that has become toxic has pushed this energy to a space that they never thought that they would be but I sense you had to remove yourself because you're tired of explaining what they may never understand when they know exactly what they're doing. So I sense many of you are quiet or more aloof when making a point or making something clear because in so many ways, many of you feel why keep talking when they still refuse to listen. And it's not that you're mad, you're just over the blame and the pain as it seems you'll never get through to them without their true intention of wanting to change. For many of you, you went above and beyond for this energy and they never respected your effort. But now that things will likely be changed forever, they may resort to some petty ways. I feel like this is someone who's clearly irritated by the loss of you or your absence, but their frustrations are definitely getting the best of them because they don't really know how to feel or deal with what they don't understand. I feel like this is someone who wants to reroute themselves, but you're aloof, unbothered, there's distance. Something is parked, needing to recharge. So for many of you, you're rerouting self, you're being aloof because you're needing to recharge. And I also feel you're guided to do so. I feel you are guided to stand up for self, defend, protect, advocate for self. And this brings in a sense of justice, balance, fairness. This is a space where sudden change takes place. I feel something is accelerating when it comes to something that is faded. Hmm. I feel this energy is faded to struggle when it comes to their lack of maturity. Hmm. Their heart of stone has them disconnected, causing something to be set in stone when it comes to a pyro energy, someone who is destructive, impulsive, reckless with their energy, even when it comes to conversation, communication. I feel this is someone who is very disconnected to how they sound when they talk. Hmm. They're really not thinking about what they say before they say it. But I feel that's dangerous when dealing with you. I feel that's dangerous because many of you don't want to speak to this person because of that. The way they talk in circles or this energy never really takes accountability. Hmm. For many of you, communication is dangerous. Many of you are cautious, aware, vigilant when it comes to this energy because they know, many of you know this communication can bring you challenges, conflict. This is someone who can cuff you to this conflict, to this trauma bond, a sticky situation where it will be difficult to release or let go. However, I do feel this is someone who will live and learn when it comes to growth and knowledge, especially when it comes to their roots being grounded, stability, finances, illusions. The fact that this energy is always trying to manipulate their way out of something but I feel something will be in free fall. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to accept something when it comes to something that is fragmented. Someone's going to be in free fall when it comes to sacrifices and losses where they're already trying to suppress and numb the pain. But once they realize these coping mechanisms are not working, they'll be too battered and broken. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
to better or broken for change. This is someone who has become very careless and materialistic, always pointing fingers because of their lack of accountability or maturity. This is someone who is always worried about how it looks and never what it truly is. Yet I feel you have become the potter in this situation. Crafting, molding, all through your absence as well as your silence. Someone is really understanding as well as missing the love that you gave. Someone is disconnected, knowing something may be set in stone. Hmm. They caused some, too many problems, too many flames. Something has definitely become like fire and ice conflict when it comes to a spiritual bond. Hmm. A soul connection. All because of the lack of loyalty. Now there's silence. Now there's silence. And this energy is wishing they never put you in the position to have to change. Because in so many ways, this is someone who pushed you to make these choices. Because they never gave you a reason to truly believe in them. This is why many of you have become aloof. Because they have always had a cold heart. Now this energy is struggling and going through a free fall, confused, frustrated, and going through inner chaos. I feel this is someone who is planning to move out or planning to make a move, planning to make a text message, but I feel you're divinely guided, protected, and abundantly covered. This energy won't have any access to you as long as they're struggling with self. I feel like this is someone who is struggling with self and not really knowing how to defuse this situation with you. Communicate. Mm. But this energy has tunnel vision where I feel something could be on the horizon. Where you could be dealing with someone who is bound. Bound and bottling up what they feel because they're angry. Because they're angry and sad someone does want your forgiveness but this is someone who is on a journey of self and this is someone who needs that journey there's also debt from a past life that needs to be cleared out and this is another reason they're elusive because they are truly going through it the more this energy goes through it the more they have tunnel vision when it comes to you yet this energy is still self-centered Mm, going through a lot of trust issues. Mm, conceited energy of someone who needs to do some shadow work. There's a lot of addictions. Someone likes to, the thought of being in love with love. Love sick energy when it comes to a twin flame. For many of you, you are heavily guided. There's lanterns here. This is the second one that I've seen. I see you stepping into a different light. You're coming out as a loner. You may feel like you're doing it alone, but you're not alone. There, There's innocent energy here that's also affected, watching you. Hmm. You could also be the innocent energy here as well. There's wonderment when it comes to your, your mind, your state of energy. But I also see there's unexpected blessings coming your way as well. Look out for that. Hmm. Hmm. For many of you, I definitely feel this is someone who wanted to keep you tied bound, stuck, even defensive. I feel like this is someone who's defensive about the fact that you cut ties or the fact that they feel you were quick, quick to leave. But I feel you just felt this energy and didn't care. They were all in their ego being defensive, blinded by gossip, blinded by the fact that they gave no effort this is someone who is blinded by third party energies, possibly even multiple personalities when it comes to someone who seems like a tool, a user, someone who is coming out as a rebel, a fallen angel, a runner. I feel this is someone who is definitely coming out as someone who is running from issues or problems. 
daydreaming about something. Hmm. Wow. So someone is definitely in their head about something, especially if they believe something is meant to be when it's truly forbidden. This is a runner energy here who is always breaking their promises. Someone who's coming out as a fallen angel, a tool, someone who's always using and abusing situations, yet this is someone who's breaking promises because of their wandering energy of never being satisfied. This is why this energy is coming out as elusive, angry, and sad. Needing forgiveness, yet not asking for it, not seeking it, not believing in it. And this is why they're on a journey to complete and also clear out their karmic debt whether that is debt from this lifetime or the last this is someone who is now up for the challenge when it comes to paying their dues for many of you this is someone who is curious yet they're also overthinking and they're stressed out wanting to dominate a situation and also wanting to seduce you in some type of way hmm. This is someone who is in their own little world when it comes to some type of illusion, playing hard to get. Mm. Now they feel you're hard to read. Someone is feeling like they want to dominate something here, but they also know if they don't let something go, they might lose something for real. Mm. So it seems like someone is in their own head, their own space when it comes to some type of false reality that they have created. This is someone who is overthinking things, wanting to dominate or seduce a situation because they're stressed out on a journey that they really don't understand. And this is why it's really hard to let you go because I feel in so many ways you gave them no reason to deceive, hurt, or take chances against you. Yet I feel in so many ways you were just dealing with a fool. This is someone who is overthinking things, thinking that opposites attract. Hmm. Where I sense in this scenario there is the energy of light and darkness. Hmm. You know, there's also distance due to heartache, pain, disappointment. I feel like this is someone who is testing your loyalty, testing your love. However, I feel you evolved and they continue to stay wounded. However, I do believe there is drama on the horizon when it comes to someone that you feel you could never truly get through to. For many of you, you made a lot of choices when dealing with this energy, but never like this one. Because trust me, they feel it this time. Because things with you are definitely not the same. I feel like this is someone who is the equivalent of a spoiled, mischievous child or um, an entitled brat that wants what they want when they want it. Yet they're losing everything they need in the process because they're too selfish and entitled to see what's right in front of them. Yeah, someone is definitely too comfortable trying to dominate a situation, influence something through communication. Yeah, someone is wanting to bait you in by showing you support, but someone is lying. This energy is on a dark path of mind games. Mind games and ill intentions just to have their way. I feel this is someone who wants to communicate, but they won't tell you the truth. In fact, it's going to be far from the truth as telling you the truth will only be the final nail in the coffin when it comes to a shape-shifting energy. Someone who is willing to be whoever you need them to be. If they're testing you, gaslighting you, when it comes to responsibilities, third-party energies, fake friends, fake family, and even pure intentions because they're not listening. They're not listening when it comes to changing their life or what they have ruined. I feel this is someone who has mixed emotions and feelings when it comes to opportunities. And this is why many of you have to fall back and allow them to receive their karma. 
many of you have no words when it comes to their destruction or trust issues many of you are on the path moving on while this energy is in a space where they're still manipulating things hmm. so for many of you this is someone who is going through a lot of karma you have no words when it comes to this energy because they're always on the path of destruction manipulation many of you are moving on because you know you're on the right path and you know they're just going to make these choices and mistakes they're, they're just going to do it anyways hmm. causing many of you to be on the run many of you are guided to do something different this is why you're truly not interested you're not interested in quality time you're leaving something behind because you're no longer distracted someone is wanting to communicate in the worst way with you yet this is someone who is still not confident on what to do or say to get you to let your guard down but as i said before they're losing everything they need in the process because to them it doesn't matter how it hurts other people or even the circumstances around it as long as they eventually get what they want which is why you standing firm on facts and decisions you've made is so important as they always seem to use the emotional history of this relationship to sway your energy or make you reconsider. Yet this time, you and only you will be able to let them know that this time, this time is different. Because otherwise, there'll be no lesson learned and cycles will continue. As you might have to teach this energy through the hard way how to truly treat you. Because if this energy don't learn anything, they just might learn how not to fumble a blessing. Let's get some final energy here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So let's step into the energy here. For many of you, you are teaching this energy the hard way when it comes to the right way to love you because either they're going to respect your energy or not at all as it's not your responsibility to help them change. It has to be their choice of their own free will. As it seems, this energy believes they can get you to let your guard down and use words like I love you to trick you. But you have to remember, you have always given this energy your best, while in return, they have only given you their worst. As what you have given was authentic and precious, and so is your time and energy. Yet they were completely emotionless, trying to dominate a situation because they got too comfortable communicating and trying to influence you, trying to bait you in, not realizing this time it's just not going to work. Hmm. Wow. So you have to keep in mind, although they have pockets of intelligence and emotional depth, they're still emotionally and spiritually empty inside as their blessings have been voided till they find a way to get it right. Yet this energy is still reveling, reveling in their struggle, reveling in their sins. As I sense this energy is still in between worlds, still giving in to temptations and weaknesses, which is only leaving them open to further spiritual debt or spiritual damage. Yet, I feel by the time they realize the damage they have caused, it will already be set in stone. And the universe will be ready to collect. And trust me, it's not a debt that they will be prepared to pay. As they have unfortunately failed to calculate the cost of their lies and their toxic antics because they didn't want to know the true price they had to pay for their karmic debt. Yet they're about to learn that karma and consequence just ain't cheap. Of course, final deck here, you guys. Confirmation, Holy Spirit. Hope my um, camera doesn't fall dead on you guys. But I'm going to wrap this up. Let's keep going. Holy Spirit, where are the messages here? So, it seems like someone is wanting to use their charm when it comes to you. But many of you had to release expectations and avoid toxic people which has become a challenge hmm. 
Wow. Someone really feels like you really don't care anymore. But I feel you're overcoming obstacles and creating new routines. You just want to be yourself. You just want to be yourself and feel what you feel. You're opening up, creating balances, changing bad habits, and releasing doubt. I see you rediscovering yourself and cleansing your energy. I see you doing some shadow work as well, uncovering every part of you that has been repressed and abandoned. I see you on a journey of self mm. where you're about to validate something from the past. Mm. Something is about to be laid to rest, put to closure when it comes to someone from your past. As I sense this energy is definitely fixated on getting you tied to their energy again. So much so that they're willing to say or do anything to convince you that they have changed or they can be trusted. Yet I sense they're only taking advantage of the fact that you love so openly and honestly. Yet unfortunately for them, I don't feel like things will go as planned. Mm. Because in so many ways, many of you you're giving less fucks. And it's going to make it really hard for them to get anything past your intuition. Because from what I can see, you're about to bruise their reality as well as their ego by telling them the truth or saying nothing at all. Yet I must also reveal to you that this won't be received well when it comes to someone who is used to getting their way when it comes to you. So when you eventually affect this energy by your silence or even telling them the truth of what you think and feel... They're going to be in their feelings so much so that they're going to want to affect you by claiming your actions and your words are the true reason that things got worse when really you're no longer letting them corner you with their childish games or their foolish mind play because at the end of the day this runs deep as well as your love. I feel the love that you give definitely runs deep but this time you won't let it lead you astray. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading.